Hi everyone, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors. Well, it is boating season. Time to get out and enjoy some family time at your favorite lake or river. Maybe you're fishing or you're um, water skiing, whatever your activity, there is something that you have to do every time you put your boat into a water body here in Alberta, and that is clean, drain, and dry. Yeah, we're really relying on public to do the right thing. Um, we are lucky that there isn't a lot of travel between provinces right now, so we are, you know, reaping the benefits of that, that low boat traffic, but we are getting ready for that season to open up and people are going to be wanting to go out to their special spots. It really boils down to just three simple steps that we want all boat owners to do with their boat as well as trailer and equipment, and it's clean, drain, and dry. And so clean means remove any plant material, uh, mud, sediment that happens to be clinging to the boat, draining, pull that bilge plug in transport, make sure all the standing water is removed and dry, making sure it's as dry as possible before launching into another water body. And while the zebra mussels are a concern, it's not the only invasive species in Alberta that officials like Nicole are on the lookout for. Boat inspections, our main focus is the invasive mussels from eastern Canada as well as southern U.S. Um, outside of that, we have uh, fly and rush that has been able to penetrate into Alberta. Uh, we have multiple other plant species. We have a Chinese mystery snail, which was new for 2019, and as well as another plant, uh, the yellow floating heart. Goldfish and koi being dumped into storm ditches or ponds also remains an issue. A fish like this can pose a real threat to our native fish population. Now, people are not necessarily biologists or botanists. Uh, how do they know what they are looking at is an invasive species? So we have a pocket guide that we're trying to drum up awareness for public. It's available in print and digital. Um, but really, anything that you see that you think you've never seen before, let's, let's take a picture. Uh, a lot of identification can actually happen through some pictures. And so we encourage people to take a picture refer to our hotline, um, call them, they'll take down your information and we'll follow up and get those pictures and be able to follow through on that identification. And Nicole, with the COVID situation right now, um, how do you do any field monitoring of uh, potential invasive species here in Alberta? Uh, we really heavily rely on partners to do that. So we partner with the irrigation districts as well as the Alberta Lake Management Society to do our monitoring and they are both um, committed to doing it through COVID-19 restrictions so we're really thankful for those partnerships and, and you know our monitoring for mussels, uh, spiny water flea and as well as Eurasian water milfoil in those operations. There are some new invasive species out there that basically are keeping you up at night. 52 uh, prohibited in Alberta, but there's always new things on our radar. Um, just recently, uh, Asian clam has heightened in my alert status because BC and Montana both confirmed locations in just the last year. Um, so that's the next on our radar for monitoring. Well, there you go. Uh, it's just some information to keep in the back of your mind as you're out exploring, or again, if you are out in your boat, folks, please remember those crucial three steps, clean, drain, and dry. Till next time, have fun out there. I'm Michael Short, let's go outdoors.